Hi Leo, this is your next 48 tarot card reading in astrology. I hope you guys are doing well. So we have the sun in Libra, strong energy of partnering with other people, forming alliances and connections. And that's an opposition to a very strong focus on the self, which is Aries. So people might be more interested in connecting with other people. Um, we also have for Leos, um, well, we're gonna have the sun in Libra partnering, balance, equality, and the moon too. So your feelings are very connected to your partner or the people you partner with. The energy passing through Leo is challenging communication straight up to this energy of a need to form strong partnerships. So it's almost like if somebody says something that's hurtful or irritating or disrespectful, even if it's a joke, you know, this energy here would influence from Gemini to Libra, two air energies. It's going to sort of inflame. Um, you know, there's a need to form a bond. And with Venus energy up to changes going on, it might be that a lot of people have to be compassionate and forgiving of other people right now. Um, so we also have the energy of Uranus retrograde, so a need to be conservative or cautious. The need to be careful, like, you know, the words that we say could be very hurtful if taken the wrong way. So let's see. Let's go ahead and see what's coming in for the sign of Leo. And what does Leo need to see? For the next 48 till Friday, the 16th of October. Okay, bottom of the deck. Okay, Four of Pentacles. What's coming in for Leo next 48? What's coming in for Leo next 48? Wow, the devil. There's a feeling of, um, you know, a lack of freedom. It's the energy of addictions or something is controlling you. Could be material, money, um, obsessed with money. It could also be just obsession. Um, it is the energy associated with Capricorn, but the devil can also be temptation. Um, it's it's really like obsession with material things, control, trying to have control or feeling like you don't have control. Two of Wands, thinking about going in a new direction. You're thinking of new things, new places, wanting to take action. You're at a crossroads. Okay. You could feel like there's somebody really toxic around you as well. For some, it could be that you're battling some kind of obsessive or addiction. So we have Wheel of Fortune. So we have good luck and good fortune is coming in here to change the situation. Wheel of Fortune is going to start to change this. The energy of Jupiter direct and Jupiter is direct in Capricorn. So recent past, Knight of Pentacles, Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Very dependable, very loyal, steadfast energy there. The Hermit, spending a lot of time alone in quiet contemplation, dealing with the Virgo. The hermit is a prophet or an expert. It's someone who looks at all the little details of a situation. Um, the hermit is also wanting to spend time alone to figure something out. We have nine of pentacles, self-sufficiency, independence, could be wanting to be single or it's the energy of having a life of financial comfort alone, not needing anyone, not partnering with anyone. Okay. Could be an earth sign as well.
There's a two of swords. So you could feel mentally conflicted right now. You're trying to make a decision. You're thinking about going in a new direction. Mental conflict, unless you're in a fight or an argument with someone. The environment is the sun. So there's a lot of things that could be coming to light or a lot of very positive things around you right now in your environment. Okay. Mal, come here. All right. Hope or fear for Leo. Fear is Knight of Swords. This is um, either you're hoping for an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or it's you don't want drama. This is like out of control drama, like a fight or an argument where somebody is telling somebody off. What is the outcome here of this situation for Leo? The Empress. Wow, so some of you can be dealing with Venus, love, beauty, someone that you put on a pedestal. Um, it could also be you. It could be your energy. You're putting yourself first in some way. The energy of Venus in Taurus or Venus over Libra. Venus, Aphrodite, someone who you love. It could be you as well. Let's see. What is the Empress? What is the Empress for Leo? A Page of Cups. So some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It could be someone you get a message from. What is the Nine of Pentacles here? Why is Nine of Pentacles coming out here? Strength card. So you, it would take a lot of inner strength for you to sort of branch out on your own in some way. Or it means you have to have self-control in some way. What is the Hermit? Wow. The Hermit came out really interesting the magician reversed so the magician reversed is about um mind games or manipulation um something like that you, it's somebody you could be dealing with who it could be a virgo it could be anyone and that could be the person you're kind of at odds with, with the Two of Swords. What is the Two of Swords for Leo? What is the Two of Swords? The Star card. So you're trying to heal from a conflict with someone. You're trying to let it go and focus on hope, you know, being hopeful for the future. What is the Wheel of Fortune? king of cups so something changes with a pisces cancer or a scorpio they go from it could be you as well it could be that you're really making an offer of love to someone or someone comes forward towards you and is really serious um magician reversed i mean they could be manifesting you trying to manifest you and it could be a Gemini but what is the strength card what is the strength card Queen of Swords Gemini Libra Aquarius there's somebody here who could be very bitter or cold towards you who you're trying to maybe break away from so the, there's somebody, you're either offering love to someone or someone's offering love to you. The sun comes into your environment. What is the sun? What is the sun? Seven of Cups. Having a lot of options in love or having a lot of choices in love. What is the Page of Cups? Water signs, someone showing how they feel, expressing their feelings. 
Wow, so it's a nine of cups. It's a wish coming true. It's something that you've been really wanting. So the empress could also be money or abundance. Okay, so let's see what comes in for Leo. Treasure chest, an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. Hmm, this could be good news. Somebody is, it might not be manipulation. I mean, my deck was not in reverse. I didn't have reversals. There could be some kind of manifestation coming in towards you, an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. Wow. So I hope this resonates and it looks really good for you for the next couple of days. Thank you and take care.